fail. So the 240 conversion is nearing completion. I ended up getting the big tall boy PDU. Pull this guy out of here. Put wheels on it so it's easy to move. Anyway, so I thought with this PDU that it was metered meant that I could turn the switches on and off individually, but that is not the case with this one. Luckily, these spark plugs are 240, so I was able to just get some little adapters. I don't know if I like this design. I had to use some pretty janky zip ties to secure them there, so I'll probably get some little one-foot cables, do something a little bit better, but got it up and running for now. So I'm able to still remotely turn my rigs on and off, and that's just tied to the main power supply just for the motherboard and one card, so I can just reboot the rig, not, not everything, but it's not very often I have to reboot the actual GPUs themselves, but I got all the cabling done and this uses the c13 plugs so it's kind of like the opposite of what you would have on your power supply it's very similar looking i did get all my rigs down to seven card rigs give them a little more room to breathe so all of these only have seven cards just kind of put one in front of each fan zip tied them in where i had to and then i just have all my network wires and then the main pdu wire going through the wall there definitely nice having wheels on this guy and then so the PDU comes through here. Got a short 10 foot, 10 gauge extension on that. I still have to get a plate for the outlet itself. It came with, with a metal plate, so I couldn't cut it down since they're mounted right to the panel like that. So a regular plate won't fit. So I will be adding one more 30 amp, and that will be this rig, and then this rig that I'll be stacking on top once I get the PDU going. And good news, guys, this is almost a matched rig. I have five matching cards there, but I had to throw my 3070 in there. Let me turn off the light. The closest thing I've got to a matched rig. This is great. Definitely feel much better getting that 30 amp 240 plug installed it was getting a little ridiculous it was like seven different circuit trying to run all this stuff i got three rigs condensed down to two circuits because it's a double pole breaker for that so i'll be adding one more though and then uh, probably get the garage on 240 as well that'll be a project for late winter early spring but the rigs are running great having them spread out like this give a little more room to breathe i got a nice angle for my camera up there looking down at the rigs so it wasn't too bad switching over to 240 all the power supplies are auto switching definitely check your power supplies to make sure they can handle 240. Make sure that your smart plugs, if you're using them, can handle 240. It's the same innards as what they would use in Europe, so it just handled 240 right away. No, no issues at all. Still got some work to do on the 240 volt, but it's started. Definitely feel a lot better pulling a lot of power in the house here. Still trying to figure out heat. It is winter here, but sometimes it gets too hot, sometimes it gets too cold. I'm trying to keep the furnace from turning on, but I'll take the free heat. So yesterday, Dexter gave me some bad news. He was checking out my stats on my YouTube and watch time from subscribers is only 2%. 98% of views are from non-subscribers, so he's not happy about that. He'd like to see that number higher. If you're new to the channel or you've been hanging out for a while, hit that subscribe, hit that bell notification so you know when I got new videos coming up. And if you liked the video today, please give it a like, and I will see you guys on the next one. Later.